Are you wondering how to get a new blog post or a new page that you posted on your website on Google? Well, if that's the case, you have made it to the right video. That's exactly what we're diving into in today's tutorial. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the easy breezy process of submitting a brand new page or a brand new post to Google through the use of Google Search Console. So this process is pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward, but the reason why we're doing this is essentially so we can tap Google on the shoulder and be like, hey, we have a new post or a new page on the website, please go ahead and put it in line to crawl it. Now I will say you don't have to submit a page or post in Google Search Console in order for Google to find the page, crawl it, and then start showing it in Google search results, but I find that this does speed up the process. So let's get into the screen share. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is log into Google Search Console. Okay, so if you don't already have your website and an account set up with Google Search Console, then go ahead and click in the video description box below. I have a tutorial that will walk you through the setup process. But once you already have it set up, you're just gonna come to the main page that we have here and then you're going to open up in a new tab the URL of the page or the post that we want to submit over to Google. So this page is just like a sales page for the ultimate guide to crafting successful SEO titles and meta descriptions. So I created a new sales page for this that wasn't previously on my website. So I don't think that this page is in Google's index. Therefore, it's not going to be found in Google search results, which really quick, if SEO titles and meta descriptions confuse you, then definitely check out this ebook and guide. You can use the code SEO love 10 for $10 off. But essentially, we're just going to copy the URL of this page. We're going to head back over to Google Search Console and we're going to pop the URL right into this inspection toolbar. I think that's what it's called. Just go ahead and pop it in there. And then Google is going to give it a quick second to see if it can even crawl the URL. Once it does that, you're probably going to get hit with a page that looks something like this. And then it's really clear, really obvious right here that this URL is not on Google. And so the way that we get it found on Google is we hit this button right here, request indexing. So go ahead and hit that. So Google is going to do this process of texting, testing it, not texting it, to see if it can actually be crawled. So it usually takes a minute or two. So after it's done doing its thing, you will likely see a pop-up that looks like this. So it's submitted to the crawl queue. That means it's put in line for the Google bots to recrawl it and then consider putting it into the index. So here's an important thing to keep in mind. Submitting a page multiple times will not change its queue position or priority. So you coming in here and doing this like 10 times, it's not going to do anything. So just go ahead and submit it. Give it some time. Sometimes it only takes a couple days. Sometimes it only takes a couple hours. I have seen it take as long as two weeks. So just keep that in mind when you're doing it. But you can just come in here and click got it. And then you can come in and inspect it. So if you wanted to come back in here later that day or the next day, you would just go into Google Search Console repaste that URL in there and then see if the notification right here has changed, which I don't think mine is going to change because I literally just did it. So just like we thought, it's still not on Google because I just submitted a minute ago. But if the URL is on Google, I just want to show you what the notification will look like. So this page is already on Google, so I'm just going to go ahead and inspect it. 
give it a hot second to retrieve the information. And so when the URL is in Google's index, you will see this notification here with a green check mark. But if you were to go into the page and either update the page, update the content, update the SEO title, the meta description, all of that, and you want Google to recrawl the page, then you can submit the page here, do exactly what we just did, pop it right in there. You're going to see the URL is on Google. And then there's a question right here. So basically, has this page changed? If yes, you can click the request indexing button to then invite the Googlebots to go ahead and recrawl the page and possibly update the Google search rankings accordingly. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you guys found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. Truly, the simple thumbs up really does help the algorithm push out my YouTube videos to new people. And if you have any questions about Google Search Console, then please leave them in the comments below. I use your comments, your feedback, and stuff like that to be able to inspire new YouTube video ideas. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video video.